So here's the problem. You got your your uh, coffee. You're trying to get it ready in the morning. You got your little Keurig cup or your coffee maker, and you got to reach down into these hard plastic containers for the coffee. And you get down below with these spoons, and and it's very difficult to refill them. So today I'm going to do a multi-axis turn of a coffee spoon to get into these. Let's see how that works out. All right, so I got to get some stock for this. I've got this piece of cherry. The sap wood is all rotten, but the heartwood is very solid, but it's got a crack, but I think on either side of the crack, or at least on one side of the crack, I've got, I've got enough room to make the spoon that I want. So let's try to get this cut.
There's the first one, sand it up. It's got to put some finish on it. Okay, so I've got my two scoops. Large and a small. The large one, I put some uh, chatter tool details on the end grain. Uh, just do something different. I'm leaving the bottom of that one round. Then I have my small one, and I did put a flat spot on that. Just uh, see, treat it different so it can sit flat on a table. Um, don't know if that matters, but I'm giving it a shot on that one. And I'm going to use general finishes, wood bowl finish on this one. Let's open it up, mix it a little bit. Okay, got my little rag. Let's put some on here. So I really think one coat is probably going to be sufficient for this because it's just going to be a scoop. This is again, this is cherry. So these two are really the proof of concept for me. Um, I will these were fun to do, and so I'll probably do more of these for my next show. Um, I don't know what my price will be for these. I'd say price point, but I got corrected by some accountant on Facebook. He, I mean, uh, excuse me, on YouTube. He commented because I used that term in one of my videos, and Apparently, it's a bugaboo for him, so. There we go. And that's that. We'll let them dry. And that will be the end of it. All right. All right, so there we have it. Two scoops. And uh, I'm pleased with how they came out. They're not hard to do, which is nice. So I should be able to keep the price fairly low on these. And if I were doing a bunch of them, I would start out by obviously making the cylinders. I'd probably make the cylinders with a dovetail of tenon on each on, on one end uh, to immediately put it into the chuck. I'd probably try to keep them all the same size or maybe offer two different sizes, but do each size in its com uh, completely for each run. Maybe a, a size of the small ones and a size of the large ones. And um, run through, make them, uh, make the, the cylinders, and then go back and turn all of the outside um, spindle turned dimension first. You know, with your sil uh, with your sphere on the end of the stick, like a big lollipop, and then go back and hollow each one of them out because I've got the jigs now, um, and I can do that. So that's what I'll probably do is I'll probably offer two sizes, large and small, and um, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with that. All right, thank you all for watching. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And leave me comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you think this is a good offering for your craft sales or not? Uh, you know, I'd like to hear about it. If you've tried to make, if you've made some of these and tried to sell them, have you had good luck? Have you not had good luck? That'd be nice to hear. And uh, yeah, that should be about it. Thank you all for watching. Please stay safe. Everybody have a good day. Thank you.